try to kill me. <coughs> Hi, I'm Mike McLean, and guess what? I'm back again for this year's pantomime. I know, three times on the chat. And this year, it's Jack and the Beanstalk. Uh, working with my dad, Don, because we've never worked together, and uh, it's just nice to get him out of the house, really. And, um, you know, he, he's, he's lovely to have, you know, and uh, he's, he's dead funny at home. Oh, he has me in stitches at home. Oh, well, the list is endless, but the two favourite things are Nando's, which is you come out the stage door, turn right, is there, and straight across is the mecca of all meccas, Greg's. Oh, yeah, Greg's. So, you know, all I'm saying is that if, you, if there's anybody, you know, coming to see the show and you pass Greg's, um, obviously, just just pop in, just pop in and, and get a selection of pasties. Always, if you don't know which one to get me, just get them, get them all, one of each, and then bring them to the stage door. That would be nice. Julia Roberts, she was absolutely lovely. Uh, she flirted with me a bit, actually, and, um, and it's funny, really, because my hotel room was next to hers and there was a hole in the wall, and uh, I was going to complain, but I thought I'd let her look, you know, just let her look. And she did, I caught her a couple of times. I caught that a couple of times. I didn't say anything, didn't say anything. She's lovely. Uh, I've got Cheryl on my phone, Cheryl's on my phone, but the most famous, uh, sorry, Cheryl, uh, is Richard Maidley. I've got Richard Maidley on my phone. I work with him. I've got, I've got him on my phone. Yeah. And I've got Brad Pitt's brother, Sess. He's on my phone. Oh, Mike McLean. He's very funny. Oh, other than me. The question is, who's your favourite comedian apart from yourself? Oh, apart from myself. Don't really love anybody. Nobody's as funny. Uh, honest to God, I've seen them all. Nothing, nothing. But I do get, I make myself laugh when I'm on stage. I could, I've got videos of me, I just watch me all the time. I've got videos going back years. I can't stop laughing. I can't believe I get away with this rubbish. And I get paid. Uh, why does a chicken lay brown eggs? Didn't wipe his bum properly. Because <laughs> it's, it's the chicken, he didn't... He, you've always got to wipe your bum properly. If you're a chicken and you're watching, wipe your bum properly. If you're not a chicken, you're not watching. This is irrelevant, really, isn't it? Oh, God, yeah. Uh, I was the Northwest Region cow milker for eight years until Stephen Harris beat me. Uh, he used to pull a lot faster. Uh, and my wrists have gone, because I used to do it. But he's a young puller, and he can really pull. I can't. When, once you've stopped pulling, you, you do, you get pulleyitis, which is what has been uh, confirmed by the doctor. So I've had to stop. Shame. Well, the night before, um, what I usually do is, um, is I fire a starting pistol and uh, I just tell the kids that Father Christmas just committed suicide so there'll be no presents in the morning. And, and that way, I can have an excellent holiday after I finish Panto with the money I save. So that's, that's quite nice. Spend it with the kids, spend it with my wife, uh, unfortunately. Yeah, looking forward to that. Again, anything from Greg's, really. Um, if they'd had a Christmas pasty, which is the manager of Greg's, you'd have like cranberry stuff in Turkey and a, a pudding all in one massive big pasty. God, I'm starving just thinking about that. I don't, I'm, I'm not really into chocolates, to be honest. I don't, I don't really eat chocolates, but uh, I mean, a picnic's nice. Milky Way, Galaxy, they're nice. Toblerone, fruit and nut. Roger, Bounty, Maltesers, Smarties. Like I said, I don't really have a favourite. But again, they can all be dropped off at the box. Can I just point out they can all be dropped off at the box office um, if they want to? Are you playing the cow? No, I'm not playing the cow, actually. Cheeky. I'm playing Simple Simon. If you want to come and see me and the gang in this year's pantomime, then uh, ring the box office on 01332 255 800. Or book online at www.darbylive.co.uk. Right, who said the cow bit?